Okay, so I'll give you a hint. We've got the one-to-one -one aspect ratio here. So this is one and one, right? This here has to be the square root of one squared plus one squared, Pythagorean theorem, right? Makes this 1.414. From the center of this out, you know, is 75,000. It's half of the diameter of 150. From here out, you know, that's also 75,000. And it makes a right angle with this, which is a one-to-one, -one, which means that that has a slope of one-to-one. -one, which means you can find the horizontal and vertical components of its dimension by using this triangle we just figured over here. See if that helps. So you can call this here like A and B. Once you find dimension A and B, Everything else should fall into place. So I'll pause it there and let you use Okay, time to let you off the hook. So we've got this triangle right here. Let's blow that thing up and look at it. I call this A and B, and we know this is 0 0.075, 75,000, We have our aspect ratio triangle here that we drew. It's 1, 1, 1. 1.414. Well, we know 75 thousandths relates to 1.414 in the same way as B relates to 1. So if we cross, multiply, and divide, We get 53 thousandths for B. So both A and B are 53 thousandths. Anybody else come up with that number? Cool, one of you at least. Good deal. So we got 53 thousandths here. And 53 thousandths here. So what that tells us is two things. One, from here to here is how far. Hundred twenty-eight thousandths. Seventy-five thousandths from center over. Another fifty-three thousandths from there over. So 128 thousandths, which means from here to here is 0.78. How do I get 0.78 or 7, 0.078? Well, it's 0 0.5 thousand, it's 50 thousandths from here to here, right? You said y was 50 thousandths? Yes. So that means from here to here it's 128 minus 50 or 78 thousandths, right? It's 78 thousandths from here to here. It's 78 thousandths from here to here because it's one to one. Now we've got it. From here to here, 78 thousandths. From here to center, 53 thousandths. From center to top is 75 thousandths. So from bottom all the way up, if I add those three numbers up, I get what? 206 thousandths? Does that look right? So 206 thousandths. It's 200 thousandths to there, so that means to the top of that has to be Six thousandths of an inch is x. So sticking up six thousandths of an inch. Not so bad. Try another one like that. Okay, we can do that.
Pretend this is round. Okay, so from here to here, three hundred thousandths. This one will be two hundred fifty thousandths. My diameter here, I'm going to make 100, eh, 180,000 is a little big enough. Let me adjust it. Hmm. We're 240,000 there is our diameter. Once again, find. X, the height above the top. Let's see if you're making any progress here. Now, I didn't ask for it this time, but did you find this dimension? No, but it's probably going to need it. Probably going to need it. But this is 300 thousandths here. Let's find this. I'll call it Y. Well, it's 3 over 2 equals 300 thousandths over... Y, if I cross multiply and divide, 200 thousandths. So this is going to be 50 again, yes. Once I know that's 50 thousandths, so back up here, do I know that dimension? 120 thousandths. And I know this one is also 120 thousandths. Now, here's the trick. The aspect ratio here is not going to be 3 up and 2 over. It's going to be 2 over 3. Why? Yeah, it's reciprocal. Per these lines are perpendicular. That slope's going to be reciprocal. This goes up 3 over 2. This is going to go over 3 up 2 to be perpendicular to it. If this line's like this, the one that's perpendicular to it at a right angle here, this angle has to be here. So this is going to be 3 and 2. Does that make sense? I totally flipped your sign. Yeah. No, it's showing... Yeah, yeah, I just, it's got to be two up, two vertical, and three horizontal. So now we're going to look at, we have this triangle here, so this is 120 thousandths. Now A and B will be different. We've got two here, three here. This is going to be the square root of two squared plus three squared, otherwise known as the square root of... 13. 3.606. Is what I'm getting there. Does that look right? So, 120 thousandths over 3.606 equals A over 3. Cross, multiply, and divide. Oops, get back here. 3.606. Oops, that's wrong. 120 times 3 divided by 3.606. Uh, basically 100 thousandths. For A. B is going to be the same formula. 120 over 3.606 equals 
b over 2, which is going to be 0 0.066. Sound right? It's 0 0.067. It comes out to be not 66. I'll have to give you one for homework to take home with you. So, 0 0.067. So what that means here, this is a hundred thousandths here. This is 67 thousandths. So that means it's from here to here is a total of 220 thousandths. Make sense? 120 for our radius plus the hundred thousandths there. Then, that means from here over to here, we subtract the 50 thousandths, that's 170 thousandths. Which means our height here 3 over 2 equals 8 over 170 thousandths is what, 255? 3 times 170 divided by 2? Yeah? So, 255 thousandths to there. 67 thousandths to center. Did you? To here? Yep. A goes this way, though. Because A doesn't go vertical. B is the vertical. Yeah, the 255 gets us up to here. To get from here to here is the 67. And from here to here is just our radius of 120. We add those all up. We get... What? 452 or something like that? 442. Subtract from the 300, and we get the height above here, 142 thousandths. The y here? That was, once I found that this was 300 thousandths, I used the 3 to 2 aspect ratio. An interesting one. So there's a two to one ratio here. We'll call this 400 thousandths of an inch. There to there, we'll call 275 thousandths of an inch. The diameter here called 180 thousandths of an inch. 
And again, find how far it sticks up. Now let me just do a quick little, is that going to stick up? Let me adjust this just a touch, just to be safe. You want it to be 240? Okay, we'll call it 240. Um, we're going to call it 200 exactly. 200 should work. So I'll let you guys play with that one as homework for tomorrow. I know you wanna. How would you use this application in the e carpentry? For carpentry? Not a lot of applications for it though. This is if you're basically like like Dustin said, you're doing threads, thread layers. Um in engineering you'll have a seated well, a seated shaft wouldn't really be on a slanted surface like that, but you do have spots where you have sleet, um, V blocks and seated round stock, as long as it's not rotating. Where you'll have a set screw adjustment here to slide things in and out. Yep. Yep, that's one spot where it could come in. Oh yeah. Possibly. I'd have to work that one out. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably right there. I'd have to look at it closer. Just hold it up to it until it matches up. <laughs> you keep grinding it down. <laughs> True. Well, that's what the best carpenters aren't the ones that don't make mistakes. They're the ones that are best at hiding their mistakes when they make them. Here. 